first of all, let me say to gun nut and everybody, Democrats do stupid, vindictive, petty things as well as Republicans. It goes both ways. Shelley Silver is as much of a pernicious character as anybody on the other side, or perhaps more. So let me get all of those caveats out of the way. But here's something in the Watertown Times this morning that's part of what is just stupid in politics. YMCA. You know, YMCA. The old um, village people song. Uh, acquired that old ultimate goal uh, facility on the fairgrounds property or down at the fairgrounds property. And in doing so, because it's on designated parkland, any change in ownership or anything like that requires what's called home rule legislation passed by the state legislature. It is, to say the least, in this case, perfunctory. And such perfunctory legislation was passed a few years ago when Ultimate Goal took over the property. So it's, you know, nothing profound in any of it, but because of the way the state constitution's written, it has to be passed. So the legislation went in, and uh, in the Assembly, Didi Scozafava was allowed to introduce it. It passed. In the Senate, Aubertine introduced it, he being a member of the minority at the moment, and it's held up in committee. And I, you know, had heard about this a little while ago, and I said, you know, that's, I know what the game is. Hold it up, and then because the YMCA is frequented by a lot of community leaders and high rollers and the ownership of the newspaper and all that, somehow try to leak the story that, oh, there's Daryl, dumb as a box of rocks, can't even get this perfunctory legislation passed, and now he wants to be senator again, or, or else float it up on political IV or whatever, and, and try to make it look like he just couldn't deliver for the North Country and all of that, when really what it was is just the usual nonsensical hold it up in uh, committee chaired by Betty Little, who's the Republican senator from the Plattsburgh area. So, to make a long story short, these are the kind of silly politics that took a guy like Will Barkley, who was running as a well-funded, well-known candidate in the most bulletproof Republican district in the state, and they blew it for him, because he, shouldn't have, he should have won that by a huge margin in a special election. And these kind of tactics... These kind of little games are the reason they lose elections like that. And, and, and it should just pass the darn thing. It's perfunctory. Nobody gets credit for it when it's passed because nobody cares about it. I mean, it's not really anything important other than the lawyers. And, and, and it's just, I'm glad the Times wrote it up and stuff because it, it's just silly. And uh, let's get away from that stuff. So, anyway, 755-1240, the phone number. Good afternoon, hotline. Yeah, Mayor, what does it cost the city to provide health insurance for city employees, for a family, and what is it for individuals? 